NATO chiefs of defense are meeting in Split for a session of the military committee, the alliance's highest military authority. This is the first time Croatia is hosting a NATO meeting at this level. Over the next three days, the chiefs of defense from the 28 NATO members and Montenegro, which is about to become a member of the alliance, will discuss the global security situation. Today's events were opened by Croatia's president, Kolinda Grabar-Kitarovic. The answer how to confront these challenges can fit into a single word, which encompasses the most fundamental principle and value of NATO, and that is solidarity. Heads of state and government reiterated that NATO must retain its ability to respond to crises beyond our borders. And NATO must continue enhancing international security through supporting partners, and working with international organizations. The leader of the Croatian Democratic Union, Andrei Plenković, is confident he will have the backing of more than 80 MPs to form a parliamentary majority, more than the 76 that he needs to become prime minister designate. Speaking on Croatian radio, Plenković said that the parties which do not want to support his future government will still not be able to prevent its formation nor destabilize the political scene. He said he was counting on the support of most, two MPs from Milan Bandic's party, eight minority MPs and perhaps some parties which ran with the SDP-led People's Coalition. Specifically, he reached out to the traditionally conservative Peasant Party, saying his door was open to them. The list of Social Democrats who've announced they plan to run for the leadership of their party is growing. Tonino Pizzula, Ranko Ostojic and Domagoj Hajduković are running, and so is Aleksandra Kolaric, whose membership in the SDP still needs to be formalized. With a week to go until the SDP's electoral process gets underway, there is still time for even more candidates to join the race, says Peja Grbin. EU leaders gathered in Bratislava on Friday for an important informal summit on the future of the bloc in the wake of Brexit and the East-West split on migration, as well as the North-South divide over austerity. Although national leaders agreed on a six-month timetable to come up with solutions to key issues before the March 2017 summit in Rome, not everyone was pleased. The prime ministers of Hungary and Italy were the most skeptical. Hungarian Prime Minister Viktor Orban again railed against Germany's liberal immigration policy, while Italy's Mario Renzi refused to speak to the press alongside his German and French counterparts because of the failure to do more to help the bloc's ailing southern economies. Qian Li and Huan Chui of China, who won gold and silver respectively in the singles table tennis competition at the Rio Paralympic Games, were too strong for their Croatian challengers Angela Muzinic and Helena Dretarkaric in the team competition. In the first doubles match, the Chinese won 3 to nothing in sets, while in the singles match, Li defeated Muzinic 3 sets to 1. The Croatian women won silver, Croatia's first ever team medal at the Paralympics. Croatia is level against France at 1-1 after day one of their Davis Cup semi-final on Friday. France led 1-0 after Richard Gasquet defeated Borna Cioric 6-2, 7-6, The score was evened by Marin Cilic in the second match of the day when he beat Lucas Pouillet 6-1, 7-6, 2-6, 6-2. The doubles match will be played today with live coverage at 3 p.m. on HTV2. Variable clouds with occasional sunny spells are expected this afternoon. However, there is still a chance of rain and thunder showers in places, especially in the west, in the late afternoon and evening. There will be a moderate southwesterly wind on the coast with high gusts in places. There could also be some traces of westerly and southwesterly winds and even a few southeasterly gusts late in the day. The day's highs will range from 21 to 27 degrees for most of the country. The weather will be variable in the interior on Sunday, with most of the rain coming down in the second part of the day, especially the evening. On Monday, there will be more clouds and rain accompanied by a northerly wind and cooler temperatures. More sunny spells are expected on Tuesday, but still with a chance of scattered rain, especially in the afternoon.
On the coast, expect rain, possibly heavy downpours on Sunday and Monday. Moderate to high southeasterly winds will shift to northeasterly and northerly winds on Monday. Tuesday will be sunnier with only a small chance of local showers.